Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind I'm back at you one more again. And I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. And much love to you. And for my returning subs, my extended family, thank you so much for the love and support that you send me each and every day. All the kind vibes, the loving vibes, the peaceful vibes. It is so worth it. Appreciate it. And it's just good when you can have love sent out and it is returned back just the same way. And I'm really appreciative for that. Very appreciative for that. And for that being said, much love to everyone. Namaste, love and blessings, love and life, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and you have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell over there so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, drop me a line. I'd love the chance to know you as much as you're knowing me. Or even if it's about the positive feedback or... You know, just tell me about your pot. You know, your 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 spiritual gift is all welcome. And if you feel like I don't really, you know, you really resonate with my video and it really don't put you in a good spirit, please spread the word, like, share. It'll greatly be appreciated. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel and just showing me love and support is all greatly appreciated. And I'm hoping and praying that you can actually resonate with something out of my video. So today, I'm listening, and which I'm about to do after I got some more videos I want to go ahead and upload. So um, I'm listening to Tai Chi Musica Zen 2. I love it. It is so peaceful because it's like if you know how to do Tai Chi, it's like you, it's like a meditation but dance at the same time. Like you're releasing, you're releasing energies. It's like you're dancing with them. And it's just so beautiful. It's like when you poof your hands up and down. If you ever watched Buffy and the Vampire Slayer, you would see uh, Angel doing it every once in a while. When he would use his hands and go back and forth and just come up. And it's just, it, I tried that and it's so beautiful. I very highly recommend that for you. If you meditate and, you know, if you are acquainted with, you know, the, the spiritual movement, I don't want to say, you know, Japanese, Asian, you know, I just say Asian because it's just, it's from Asian, you know, uh, background. So it's good to actually use and it's good to release anything like your anxiety or whatever. It's very peaceful. Um, but today, uh, well, I'll be posting that link in the description box below. And today my video is about uh, empaths um, with the side effects of the shift intensifying yes the, the side effects of the shift is in intensifying and it's just like everything has a side effect to it and it's just like really crazy it says everything has a side effect to it and um it's just like we have the blood moon the blue moon the silver moon the purple moon the purple horseshoes and all this other stuff that's going along with it it's like i don't know where everybody, you know, I know the people that have been really close to me, it's just like everybody's coming in tune with people. And it's like, you know, I had to stop my video a few times because it got hot in here because I got my space heater on. So you probably heard it in my other videos because I had a space heater on. And, um, and it was just, you know, it was getting hot because first I was getting all these chills and everything. And, um, uh, I hope everybody enjoyed their first 4th of July. I forgot to put that in my video. I just said 4th of July, happy 4th of July. So I forgot to tell everybody happy 4th of July in my last video. So I hope that everybody enjoyed their first 4th of July. You got to see fireworks. Them things make my dad on nerves bad, especially if it's catching me off guard. I'm not, <laughs> it's just like I can't wait till 4th of July is over because they make my nerves bad. PTSD is not, you know, when it's triggered, that's it. So, um... But I hope everybody enjoyed their uh, their 4th of July. But yeah, it's just like going through all these different things. It's like, you know, I know, you know, if you've been with me for a while, like almost since early last year, you'll know that there's many things that I've talked about, different experiences I've had. Like with my, uh, my medium uh, gift. It's just... It's crazy because it's like I don't do the things like you know Teresa Caputo or uh, what's his name Tyler Henry 
I don't do things like that, but I guess because I really don't practice on it that much because I need to learn how to separate the two, not like take the emotions with me when I talk to spirits because it's like I leave, sometimes they can leave an imprint on you. And it's not something that they're trying to do unless they're trying to do that. Um, but um, it's just so many different things. Like I've been having to drink a lot of water. I've been having headaches like crazy having these very intense dreams like I, I just like last night I saw one of my old stray cats that I've had since I've been here that I've been feeding amongst the other ones like if you've seen you know the videos before you see me have picture pictures of these cats and um and then I had a dream that hit his face was just like really clawed up like you can just see stuff hanging out and I'm just like oh my gosh so I'm trying to doctor him back doctor her back and I'm just like oh my gosh what happened to you what happened you know and I'm just trying to you know I'm trying to help her and you know you know just trying to do things or whatever so it was really intense but then when I looked it up it's like you're regaining your power back you know you were that person that was clawed to death you know so there's really intense dreams sometimes you might not even recognize them sometimes you know if you're you know one of the type of people that write journals as soon as you wake up that's the best thing to do is just with me I don't do that <laughs> you know I because I try to and then when I get because I've tried to do that and next thing you know, I get stuck like what happened because you know when we wake up all the way it's just like it's gone it evaporates so um it's just like with other things that's been going on it's like I had to you know a few videos ago you heard me say I had to back up you know I, I couldn't you know really be social with anybody right now because I had to fix myself and it's just like that became <laughs> that was a lot <laughs> that was really a lot because it's just like anybody that was close to me they know it was like I had people that I was helping to heal like back to back to back almost every day and it was like a blessing that I was able to do that in this uh, but it was just the fact is I was bringing the residue for them trying to heal and it was like the residue of all their emotions and their back energies and probably stuff that they weren't even aware of that I was pulling out and it's just like one of my, one of my friends was just like Rosalind you know I had this image of you just like trying to make me feel better so you grabbed my head and you were just like sucking all the you know the energy or whatever that was you know that was inflicting on her you know out and I didn't realize how much I you know pulled out of her to where I took upon her stuff myself and she was just like oh my god I feel so good she was good, feeling good for the next couple of days and I'm like well shoot I ain't <laughs> I'm glad you are but hell I'm not <laughs> you know I'm just like why am I feeling this way why am I taking upon these things so it's just like now that I know how to be able to block them it's just sometimes you have to be able to step back and it's just not like you're you know walking away from people or whatever but it's just when you have to learn how to be able to separate the two you can still be able to help be, be able to put a boundary up like with spirit or whatever it is like okay I'm gonna help but I'm gonna return it back you know when you're pushing out some good intentions you're you know you need to go ahead and turn it back to its rightful place so it was just certain things that I didn't realize that I was doing. I was taking upon myself and it was like I was torturing myself. And I'm like, ah, uh, no, <laughs> Rosalind is not about to do this. Rosalind needs to take care of herself before Rosalind ends up sitting up here losing her daggone mind. And I don't need that. You know, so it's just like all these different things was going around. And I see different images that were just like something I'll probably see in a horror movie. So it was just like all these different things and I'm just wondering is anybody else doing it because it's just like you stay dehydrated. You hear a lot of voices in your head. I know my voice has just been going in and out lately, in and out. So it's just like a crazy side effect. And I'm just wondering, is anybody else feeling this stuff? It's just like you know something's coming. And it brings inner peace with it along with the crazy chaos that you have to release. Ooh! And it's just the memory vomits. It's just like it doesn't taste too good coming up. But any, any vomit feels good. But it feels better when you release it, basically. So, and that's how I feel. So I'm just wondering, if anybody else feel this way? Are you having headaches? Are you having intense dreams? Are you having odd times that you wake up in the middle of the night? It's like sometimes I'll go to sleep at three, but half of the time I'll be awake at three. You know, it just depends. 
um, if anybody else is going through this. So I'm just wanting to know. So I hope you were able. I'm sorry, y'all. I've been my throat has been dry on and off all day. Um, I hope you were able to resonate with whatever I was talking in this video that you might needed to hear. So stay blessed. You are deeply loved. Go ahead and send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. And I will see you on my next video. Like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And even drop me a line. I'll love the chance to hear from you. And you stay blessed and stay prosperous. And I will see you on my next video. Peace. And be wild.